it super simple to build. We're gonna start with the uh, one by three for the horizontal pixel gap core. We're gonna make sure we're nice and lined up. We're gonna crouch in the uh, jump, I guess, to clear any height thingies. Crouch, move until that shadow shifts. Place some half walls or some to confirm you have a line right there. See that dark line right there? That means this one's higher and this one's lower. On a normal, non-tricky foundation, it's all just flush. So, good there. Upgrade, and you want to double check and make sure that you can uh, actually do the gap. And you want to do two off the low. I'm gonna check and see. And then we're gonna build off the high over here and see if it'll snap in. And it looks like we're good here, we're all blue. So we're going to uh, patch those out or whatever, crossbow. Add these unskinned sheet if you can, if you have enough resources right at the start. It's gonna be sealed in. If not, you could just leave uh, one open right now. And just do one. we don't have enough sheet metal to seal it up with sheet so this is going to be built off our high foundation low foundation low is all of our TC and high is just the top floors and this one so now we have a permanent high floor we're just going to wall it in like a normal two by one now Again, that's where you want your first metal to go to. And this is where you can put a fridge, a locker, or a, pretty much a fridge locker. Locker is going to be uh, your best bet if you have a locker before you seal this. And do your main floor loot room with the triangle floor behind it. And build out. And it's, there's no other fancy bunkers, so it's kind of just normal, uh, normal building. And I have single player, so I do. And you can use a uh, twig, twig roof until you find a smart switch. Thanks to yeah, thanks to a PCC machine for the. Uh, a tip on the smart alarm. Smart alarm is the perfect height to access the uh, pixel gap. And I didn't get it gapped on that one. And there's the gap. And so far we're at a 12 rocket rate for 1.3k one stone and 200 frags a day. Easy. Easy. a little bit as one would 
Yeah, let's have a little twig jump up or something. metal but that was supposed to be metal now get your peak right on your doorway Just a half wall behind that loot room that you could place from inside. You want those two uh, sheet metal because you're going to. Come everywhere except the bows. So you could even put those HQM when you're filthy rich. And then we're gonna go ahead and upgrade everything to its final grade. That's not. supposed to be upgraded before we honeycomb like a smart person and it's just armor in the back sheet in the front and then we actually this is we want to double armor this one going to be sheet salvage shelves and depot boxes behind the triangle roof. You can do boxes and barrels. Uh, doesn't really matter, but you can do that. And hopefully you have a skin because you need a skin to access the lower one. And you jump up, put your furnace, put whatever. I use a electrical heater is a nice one. Put your furnace for your jump up, and I didn't do it far back now. Put your furnace for your jump up there. Put your small, your low ramps. Make them brutalist if you have them, because it's uh, a lot easier. And uh, same thing on this side. Yeah. 
in, you can put your drop boxes, but not behind the TC one. The TC one's a square roof piece and it's sealed. And again, brood list and the furnace. And just like this, we will continue to build up to our uh, shooting floor. This is going to be our bedroom floor that's also going to be sheet. We got about three floors of sheet with double HQM in the rear. And to, uh, to seal this off for our fancy peaks, we're going to go up. And there should be a... Uh, nice feet shooty shoot feet shooty shoot whatever um, just to peek on every floor and we're gonna go ahead and do uh, square ramps off of that windows 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 this is going to be a shoot peak I'm sorry it's going to be a peak Seal everything off here except for this. This is going to be our jump up to the roof that we'll have eyes on from our additional beach shooty peak. And just like that, we have a again, you want the TC side double sheet in. And you can go ahead and honeycomb the bottom outside one to sheet. Basically just upgrade everything honeycomb. Everything you could reach. No, oh, I didn't even upgrade the core yet. Uh, you just want this HQM. This HQM, like this side of the 2x1, and this wall, this tile, everything here can be sheet really after that, because all the, the garage doors are going to count for the additional rocket cost as I move over here, so, just like that. Upgrade your foundation below your furnaces, of course. Jump up and out, and then to build your uh, peaks and entrances. You don't have to do it this way, you can build up right here, make it a lot easier. with a brood list and I was supposed to have put these up here earlier of course why wouldn't I and you break those and then you can put your half walls underneath it and make the sheet and you can do the sheet if you want but that thing's gonna hit your head but it's gonna give you some crazy peaks gonna give you some crazy peaks it's gonna give you some crazy peaks and then to finish to go up to our uh, crow's nest wait do we do we put a door here do we put a door here we did not put a door there there's a double door get your stability right before you start uh, going up to the crow's nest and can't go up that way so we're gonna have to go up uh 
No way. Unreasonable. It's this way. Either way, don't build up into the ramps. And, uh... Okay, regular stone is horrible. Anyway, I'm gonna build up on the roof. Which are nice roof peaks. And you may need to, uh... For some of these stability, you need, may need to do something like this. Which is super nice. It's super easy. And anyway, you're gonna build up on your tower. Uh, well, I did it. I did it different in the intro. My tower is pulling off a different triangle, but it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, Just need one. All right, that was it. You don't need two entrances. Anyway, I'm gonna build up the uh, tower. It's supposed to be right there. Nice center point of the triangle. I'm gonna build up two floors. And build up our wall frames and our floor frame for our uh, for our crow's nest here. You may need to get creative with how much twig you use. Uh, to get this floor to be stabilized to be able to place this ramp make it brutalist uh, bro I guess it needs more stability than just hanging. There we go, there you have your crow's nest tower. A little different. Very nice, very easy. So you have your roof exit where you can put your mini 